My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. I was following Martin and Cynthia into the showground when I suddenly realised there were more aircraft to film landing. Yeah, on the far runway over there. I had been waiting for my mate Terry to arrive. Lots of you know Terry as Shortfield. I know that many of you go from my channel to his channel and we both appreciate the support we get.
So who who is um, Clive puts all this together? Lois Hunt. Echo Hotel is ready for departure. Echo Hotel, it's uh, still roughly about 2.40 at um, 5 knots. Golf Uniform Zoo, lining up runway 21 for immediate departure. Golf Uniform Zoo, copy. Golf Echo Hotel, we're going to stay on frequency, but I'm uh, well to the south. Thank you very much for another great day. 
Echo Hotel, thanks Tim, go home safe and we'll see you soon. Take care and yep, thanks a lot. Bye. Um, yeah. If I if I do the iPad screen. You'll actually see that it is fairly busy with aircraft. That was, as usual, a very, very good day. Lots happening. Uh, brilliant event. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, John, for doing all the organising of that one. I know you've had a busy time, but we all do appreciate it. And it's just a relatively short trip back now. With the uh, fuel pump on, I'm going to take some from the back tank just for a while. I've got a very large expanse just below the horizon right in front of me. I come a few degrees to the right and I use that as a pointer. That seems to be lining me up quite nicely. Seems to be one, two, three, four aircraft on the same sort of heading. I'm going to put my glasses on. Yeah, I've got Terry in front. And then I've got the Cub. Today is looking grey rather than blue. Occasionally you get a nice blue sea, but it's definitely a grey sea at the moment. Terry had dropped off the screen for a while, but he's back on there now. But what I will do is I will turn that off now. It was nice to see so many people there that uh, came up and spoke to me because they watch the channel um, and I do appreciate it I mean I don't I don't know if you see a sea of faces you know it's rather nice when people come up and say that Old Hay Traffic Gulf Radio Echo Alpha Foxtrot inbound from the west approximately five minutes to run Old Hay Traffic when they come and tell you that they uh, they watch the channel um, and it was interesting that you know having Terry there as well um, that <laughs> made a double whammy for some people, which was which was great. Nice to see him there, spend some time together with him. I think he's got some footage that hopefully I can borrow because my poor old camera gave up after a while. That was a Panasonic, but I think I was filming too many landings and takeoffs, which I shall try and put together. As you say, coming out to Monidon, but yes, I can actually see Monidon, so that's okay. We will be here in a week's time with a bit of luck. I can't see anybody mount down there. A couple of aircraft parked up. Bit of nothing, I'm afraid. Well, not nothing. I mean, the scenery is very nice. It's quite a nice evening. The air is nice and still. Uh, I'm throttled right back. Just enjoying the time in the air. It was a shame that um, John was busy on the RV, but I understand why he wanted to get back 
in the air. Still got a red camera at the back, which is good. And according to the remote, it's saying, yep, three cameras are recording. I've said it before, but, you know, if people have got any strong opinions as to what they would like me to cover, um, I, did, I did add a little bit more detail to crossing the channel because a number of people said that they were interested by it, but at the same time worried by it, which is why I did that second one, which was all to do with the um, paperwork that was associated. And I stress the fact that it pays to do it, even if they didn't ask me to see it, because the chances are the one day when you haven't got it, that's the day when somebody is going to say, there's a ramp check, they want to see everything. Can't see it because it's in the clouds, but I've got an airliner going over the top. 8,700 feet so above me. Farm, traffic call, front of Virginia overhead, watch and farm. It says that that Piper Cub is 500 feet beneath me. Can't actually see it. Oh, I've got one contact ahead. Ahead and to the left. It could be it. No issue. Okay, fuel pump is coming on. I'm coming back onto the front tank. Uh, Stoke Van Allen Church on the other camera. Fuel pump is on. I'm on the front tank. Uh, look, look, scene. Oh, and okay. Nayland traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead, Nayland traffic. I expect they have been gliding because it's a brilliant day, but I can't see anything there at the moment. And there's nothing up on pilot aware. I really don't know why that didn't work going. Very strange, but it's been working perfectly on the way back. Although it was so busy, I actually kept the volume turned down. Added to the fact that that little unit seems to be making a click, which is being picked up. Look, as I say, a little bit wobbly there, but yeah. The estate is well and truly being built up now. We're on the Lyon approach. Nayland traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is turning final Nayland traffic. Can't see any deer at the moment. Actually, I haven't seen them for a few weeks, but I think they are still about.
windsock seems to have ingested itself. I hope you enjoyed that. I um, don't know whether I'll turn it into one video or two videos, but it was a really good day. If you liked it, please tick it. Smash the thumbs up, as they say. Or... Uh, sorry, I'm just looking to see whether Martin's back he is. Um, but what I would say is, please leave me a comment. It's always interesting to get your response. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Next week, 7.30 in the morning on Friday. Hopefully, I'll see you then. Bye.